All right. Thank you so much for joining us. I hope everyone's having a really good time at Computex 2023 so far. We're uh, really excited to be bringing our largest product showcase to date. And I just want to quickly thank our staff who worked around the clock for months to bring this beautiful display together. Uh, they really worked hard and I uh, hope you get the time to explore everything that they've set up for you today. Now, I hope you'll apologize. I'm still a little jet lagged, so I'm going to be uh, referring to my notes, but uh, bear with me. Today, we're going to be talking about the various different solutions that Chembro can provide from the data center all the way to the edge and everything in between. Before we get started, I just want to quickly do a recap of who Chembro is and what we're all about. For starters, we were established in 1983. We just celebrated our 40th year anniversary being a server chassis manufacturer. We operate seven branch offices around the globe, which allows us to bring our innovative designs to every corner of the world. We at Chembro are fully dedicated to the refinement of our designs and the improvement of our manufacturing efficiency. Our newest facility right here in Taiwan is state of the art, making it one of the most advanced metal fabrication facilities on the planet. We are constantly expanding our facilities, improving our designs and refining our processes and adjusting to our customers' feedback in order to, uh, in order to bring you the very best enterprise server solutions. So here at Computex 2023, you're going to see a wide variety of technologies designed to tackle an increasingly broad spectrum of challenges. You'll be hearing all about the way artificial intelligence is going to rapidly change the way we do business and our technology infrastructure. You'll be hearing all about the latest hyperspeed storage and networking and thermal management solutions. And throughout all of this, it's important to consider where are all of these items going to physically exist? All software needs hardware and all hardware needs a place to live. So most people here today are probably familiar with what we call the cloud layer. These are large data centers that are dotted all around the world, and they're primarily responsible for big data processing and data warehousing. This is where you expect to see all your traditional server designs. And uh, these are designs that have been around for many, many years. Uh, this is an area in which Chenbro has been successfully dividing uh, innovative storage technologies, HPC, and custom solutions for almost a half a century. In recent years, with the advent of 5G and the IoT, we've seen a new layer develop in between our devices and the cloud. This layer is called the edge. And the edge servers are usually responsible for light data processing, uh, reduction, data caching, buffering, all things that are uh, intended to reduce the load on the very high cost infrastructure cloud layer. Oh. So the edge devices are very often found in extremely hostile environments, places that computers should never be. So there's obviously a lot of design hurdles that we have to overcome in order to make functional appliances survive out on the edge. So what are some of those major design challenges? Number one is high temperature. Just as I said, these are appliances functioning in a place where no server has any business being. And as such, we have to design these edge servers to survive temperatures in excess of 40 degrees centigrade. Another big factor is vibration. So particularly in factories or in other areas that are operating heavy machinery, mitigating the effects of vibration dramatically increases the life of the server. Additionally, we have to find innovative ways of dealing with the limited space constraints out on the edge. The data centers are designed to house servers. Edge locations are not. <clears throat> Thus, we must find creative ways to limit the footprint of our devices while maximizing density and efficiency. And last, but certainly not least, would be the extreme high cost of servicing appliances out on the edge. Now, if you think about a data center, they have a whole team of remote hands at the facility that are just there to swap a hard drive or replace a fan, basic simple repairs. But out on the edge, this chassis, this server could be operating 20, 30 miles away from your office. So before your technician has even had a chance to touch the drive, you've already spent the money paying him to travel all the way out to the edge. That's why serviceability is absolutely crucial to the functioning of a good edge appliance. So with all these design considerations in mind, we at Chembro are proud to introduce our edge server lineup. 
Ranging in size from 1U to 3U, these chassis all have a few common design characteristics. They're all available at either front or rear I.O. They all have multiple toolless features. They have lots of the most extremely powerful fans that we've ever put into chassis. And they are all as e uh, efficient and dense as humanly possible in order to limit the footprint and allow a greater amount of, uh, of compute and storage in a smaller and smaller place. Flexible, powerful, efficient, rugged. That's the idea that we went into with these products. So we're going to start off quickly with RM252. This is an extremely flexible product that can tackle a wide variety of challenges. Whether your data load is storage, whether your workload is AI, whether it's networking, or whether it's even uh, heavy-duty industrial machine control, we have various different SKUs of the 252 that can handle those. Over on display by the edge section over there, you're going to see our version that is designed for edge AI applications, which of course is really popular now in 2023 and beyond. You're going to see our newest, latest rear windows that can support up to dual GPUs in this extremely small footprint. And we believe that this will be this will bring the AI power out to the edge, closer to where the business is being done, and allow industries to be more rapidly agile and respond to data as it comes in. Now, for those applications that require massive parallel computation power in areas outside of the data center, we have RM352. Now, the 3U form factor is excellent for supporting multiple GPUs. That. We see AI all around Computex here today. They bring many, many promises and many, many solutions to our challenging problems in our future. But where are they all going to live and how are they all going to function? That's where Chembro comes in. Now, just because the Edge is a new hot just because the Edge is a new hot space to operate in doesn't mean we have any intention of abandoning our traditional data center customers. And in fact, in the U.S. alone, we're expecting to see around a 14% increase in cloud storage, basically in the consolidation services, optimization, automation, and infrastructure management. This is an area in which Chenbro has been competitive for almost a half a century. So of course, we're not going to abandon these customers. And what? The growth is nice, but we can't continue to produce the same old server designs in 2023. The market demand for efficiency density, flexibility, and serviceability are higher now than ever. The basics of the data center are more or less the same, but the devil is in the details. CPU the new CPU architectures and new GPU architectures are coming out and pushing in excess of 300 watts per socket. As such, the cooling capacity needs to be dramatically increased. But sure, there's technologies out there like open loop water cooling and immersion technology, but the upfront infrastructure costs of those are so high that many data centers have not made the jump into those technologies yet. So how do we bring you the density and the efficiency that you need while maintaining air cooling? We do that with our side load technology. RM252 is the world's first server to load the drives in from the left and right sides of the chassis, as opposed to the front and or rear. The orientation of the drive cages results in a unique airflow that sends three cold channels of air across the top of the chassis and they convolute right at the bottom middle there. So they pass diagonally across the drive cages, resulting in superlative cooling features. This system is intended to replace those nested 1U drawers or those 1 plus 1 systems where there's 12 drives in front of another 12. We get better cooling properties, we have more competitive pricing, less moving parts, more efficient, more stable, more secure. And while we initially designed this system to be storage oriented, as you'll see on the desk right behind me, we have converted them to support GPU as well for the various AI workloads that we're seeing more and more of every day. So after numerous design awards based on this side load technology, we started to look for other places that we could apply the same logic. And one object that stood out to us was the traditional ancient server building block 36 drives, 24 in the front, 12 in the rear. Every manufacturer of chassis has one of these, but there's a lot of design limitations with that architecture. So we decided to apply the side load technology to that 4U and bring you 36 three and a half inch drives in a 4U without any need to ever go into the hot aisle. So, introducing RM437, our first ever tri-load server. 
There is also a larger version, the 48 drive, which is all the way in the center of our booth there. And I hope you get a chance to take a look. So there's multiple benefits to the tri-load design in comparison to those old 24 plus 12 designs. There's the uh, excellent features of multi-tiered storage, which is a fun, exciting new technology for people who like to consolidate everything into one appliance. <coughs> See, dear. What? Bear with me. There we go. So here we see a diagram for multi-tiered storage. So we do have a lot of customers over in the States that like to get as much done with one box as humanly possible. RM437 allows you, by utilizing our tri-mode backplanes, to have multiple tiers of storage in one device. They're ultra-hot, being your RAM, of course. You're warm, being all your solid-state drives, NVMe, U.2, or E1.S, E3.S. And then, of course, your traditional cold storage, three and a half inch spinning drives. But most importantly, the real reason this design is excellent is because it stops having to reach to the rear of the chassis in order to swap drives. Now, not only is it inconvenient to have to break containment in the hot aisle, as data centers search for more and more efficiency, you're going to see stricter controls on the hot aisles. You're going to see longer aisles and you're going to see smaller distances between them, making hot aisle service much worse as time goes on. So this tri-load server makes that a thing of the past. I do hope you get the chance to take a look at some of these technologies we talked about today. I do want to thank you from the bottom of our heart for stopping by. We do appreciate your patronage and uh, keep Timberland in mind for all of your server solutions in the future.